The ASICS Glide Ride launched in August of 2019 and is putting ASICS back in the running shoe discussion for runners around the world. For years, many runners wondered, when will ASICS catch up with the times? As the pace of innovation from the likes of New Balance, Hoka, Nike, and others seemed unstoppable. That wondering ended this past summer with the arrival of the Glide Ride. ASICS thesis behind the Glide Ride is straightforward. The shoe lets you run longer while expending less energy. Is it true? I'll get to my answer in one minute. The ASICS Glide Ride is a neutral road running shoe. Stack height is a generous 35 millimeters in the heel and 29 millimeters in the forefoot, giving you that sleek six millimeter slope for the weight, you're looking at 10.3 ounces in men's size 9 or 9.1 ounces in women's size 8. Let's just say the weight is not ideal. On the upper, the top of the shoe, ASICS chose an engineered mesh approach. The material utilizes a multi-directional weave, which improves the shoe's ventilation and stability. The traditional overlays present in many ASICS running shoes, which help secure the upper over the top of the foot, are also found in the Glide Ride design. These overlays reinforce the upper for additional stability as well as maintain the structural integrity of the upper material. The heel counter is built like a tank, the burliest heel counter you have ever seen. I'll say it now, I predict the 2020 iteration of the Glide Ride will pare down the heel counter thickness and overlay action in order to reduce some weight in the shoe. Now how about the heart of the shoe, the midsole? The midsole on the Glide Ride falls into the neutral category, but after 120 miles in the shoe, I can confidently say that this midsole is stable and shares characteristics of a stability trainer. As already mentioned, the Glide Ride midsole uses guide sole technology that strives to minimize lower leg movement, specifically the flexion of the ankle, and increases energy efficiency through a combination of a curved midsole platform, stiff forefoot thanks to an EVA propulsion plate between the midsole and outsole, and a forward rocking alignment. Lastly for the midsole, the Glide Ride center of mass is closer to the heel, speeding up the foot strike swing phase through the gait cycle. This center of mass technology reduces fatigue in your leg muscles, specifically your calves, so the runner can run longer with less effort. Lastly on the midsole, they placed a thin layer of gel in the rear foot just below the heel counter of the shoe to help absorb some of the impact through those long runs. During my Houston Marathon training, the Glide Ride naturally became the go-to shoe that I grabbed for out of my closet for my long runs. 20 miles, 22 miles, it was crazy. It's like, I just always wanted to gra grab for the Glide Ride. I felt stronger and more in control of my legs the last five to six miles during my marathon training long runs, which I credit, yes, to this new midsole design. Onto that outsole, the bottom of the shoe, where you immediately notice the large decoupled groove which travels from the heel all the way up to the toe box. This outsole groove helps save some weight on the shoe, just a little bit, and assist the foot strike transition. For the grip, ASICS uses a carbon injected rubber creating a diamond pattern on the outsole. You'll notice that the entire outsole is covered with this injected rubber, unlike many other shoes on the market that choose to forego rubberized protection, specifically in the midfoot area. This move by ASICS lends to my thesis that this shoe is built for the long haul. At least 500 miles of training is my prediction. Now, I've only taken it to about 120, but I think you could get at least 500 miles out of the ASICS Glide Ride. And although the ASICS high abrasion rubber completely covers the outsole, that does not mean the landing is hard, unlike some ASICS shoes of the past. Now, why did the ASICS Glide Ride sneak into my top three road running shoes of 2019? It's that smooth as butter transition in the gait cycle. I actually had to hold back on my long runs in this shoe. Although the shoe is a little heavy, which I actually prefer for longer training sessions, the rocker shape of the midsole coupled with the outsole lends itself to a faster paced long run trainer. If you prefer a shoe with a little more mobility, or as I like to say that loosey goosey feel, then the ASICS Glide Ride is not for you. It's definitely got a stabilized feel. And how will I use the Glide Ride moving forward? Middle distance and long run, specifically the 15 to 22 mile range at about 630 to 715 per mile pace. 
and that is on your screen in kilometers. Now, is the Glide Ride worth the $150 price tag? Absolutely. From performance to durability, you definitely will get your money's worth from this ASICS trainer, which is available down below in the description. Now, what's my final score for the ASICS Glide Ride? After everything I just shared with you, I'm going with 8.5 out of 10. Amazing, great score. And yes, I cannot wait for the next iteration here in 2020 for this shoe. That's it for today for the ASICS Glide Ride. For some more full reviews of running shoes, check out this playlist right here. And then if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do click on that icon right there. All right, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.